What is a protection ETF? A protective ETF is an investment in the stock market with a protective collar strategy. We'll, I'll explain what a collar strategy is. Um, this product, the protection ETF, it's essentially a structured product where most of the money is invested in the stock market, like 90% of it, 99% of it. And then, you know, that 1% or that 10%, whatever it is, that amount is invested in a put. A put is the right to sell, but not the obligation to sell at the current strike price. Now, this is going to be important because we're going to talk about a certain, it's going to be called the Innovator, Innovator Equity Defined Product Protection ETF. Now, if if this um, ETF rises uh, above the launch price, it's not going to be protected, and that has to do with the strike price of the puts. So this product is is protecting itself at the price the ETF launches at. So a protection ETF is a long ETF with a collar, and a collar we're going to get into it, but essentially it's a long put short call. So by investing in the stock market, the ETF is long the underlying asset. To protect against large losses, the ETF will purchase an out-of-the-money put option to protect the investor. As I said, a put option is the right, but not the obligation, to sell at a specific price. So the ETF is securing a price to sell at. This costs money but it offers protection. So you're, you're purchasing protection, you're de-risking, and that, that costs money. Then they will write an out-of-the-money call option to produce some income, ideally to offset the cost of the put. A call option is the right to purchase an asset at a price. The ETF is selling the right for a buyer to purchase something. So essentially, the ETF secures a selling price to protect investors, which costs money, and they generate some of this money back by selling the right for a buyer to purchase the equities, the assets, whatever, at a certain price. Protection ETFs are also known as buffer ETFs or defined outcome ETFs, or out defined outcome funds. They're an alternative to insurance pro products like fixed income annuities. So we're talking about this because um, the Innovator Equity Defined Protection ETF, ticker TJUL, it's the first exchange-traded fund aiming to provide 100% downside protection, launched in July of 2023. It has a relatively high expense ratio of 0.79%. It is important to note that the ETF, when it increases in value after launch, any of these gains will not be protected. And again, that has to do with the, um, the strike price of the put. So it's important to remember that big upsides in the stock market, even like in the S&P 500, they help the long-term averages. So the S&P, it's going to be averaging 8%, 9%, 10%, whatever it is, depending on the time horizon you're going to examine it in. Well, to get that 10%, you're going to have years that are sometimes negative or very low digits, single digits. And to offset that, you're going to have to get above 10%. Um, I mean, some, some of these bull runs might be 15 20%. Um, so you, you really need that big upside to make the averages work out to get that 10% or whatever average. So a protection ETF, it could be attractive to somebody in their 60s. Um, but if you have a long time horizon, you don't want to limit your upside potential. You have a long time to make your money back. You have a long time for your money to sit in the market. So a protection ETF is probably not good for somebody in their 20s, their 30s, probably not for your 40s. Um, I would say not in your 50s you want this product. I mean, maybe in your 60s. Um, this is not a product I would recommend. And I mean, anything with a high expense ratio like, you know, this is 0.79% expense ratio. That's huge. I mean, it's almost 1%. So, um, so that's what a protection ETF is.